Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Nasreen Osama, row number 13 series uh, 109. Assignment is for the subject 705, submitted to Ma'am Shahana Wahid. The drug uh, given to me was methylene blue, or also known as methylene thioninium uh, chloride. Methylene thioninium chloride, marking of uh, a colonic polypeptide, resulted in an inflammatory mass with the small arteries showing both segmental and circumstantial fibrinoid necrosis with thrombosis. But first, we need to discuss the drug methylene blue. Uh, methylene blue, also known as the methylenium uh, chloride, is a medication and a dye at the same time. As a medication, it is mainly used to treat uh, methemoglobinemia. Uh, specifically, it is used to treat the methemoglobin levels that are greater than 30%, which is greater than the normal, or in which there are symptoms despite oxygen therapy. When oxygen therapy is uh, given, the methemoglobin levels could be increased uh, greatly, so this drug is used in this case. It has previously been used for cyanide poisoning and urinary tract infection, but this use is no longer recommended nowadays. It is typically given by injection into the vein. Side effects of these drugs uh, include a headache, vomiting, confusion, shortness of breath, and high blood pressure. Uh, other side effects also include serotonin syndrome, which is the increased levels of serotonin, uh, which is a neurotransmitter. Uh, mainly present in the brain. Uh, also, red blood cell breakdown and allergic reaction. Use often turns the urine, uh, sweat, and the stool into blue color or a greenly blue color. Uh, as we said, this drug is also a dye. Not using it in methemoglobinemia is likely more dangerous than using it. Methylene blue is a thiazine dye. It works by converting the ferric ion in hemoglobin into ferrous iron. The drug administration route, as we said before, uh, this drug methylthionium chloride is sometimes given uh, intraethically to track the source of the cerebrospinal fluid leak. Uh, this process also involves a considerable risk of course, at the spinal cord, because this route, which is the uh, uh, intra ethically, is kind of risky uh, to use, and it could cause spinal cord damage with its attendant neurological consequences, of course. And at the same time, we said there is another route of uh, administration, which is to the vein. Uh, overdosage of methyl thioninium. Uh, chloride given IV, which has happened inadvertently during urinary tract surgery, um, it can cause shock, of course, and it can cause also uh, pseudocyanosis, uh, which is the uh, increased levels of cyanin, cyan cyan but uh, it's not the real reason for it. That's why it's called pseudo. The latter is due to the blue tint of uh, methylthionium chloride, and it can create confusion uh, as to the patient's circulatory status. Patients receiving methylthionium chloride should be examined for unstable hemoglobins or an abnormal hexose uh, monophosphate pathway. If the risk of methoglobinemia is to be minimized, uh, this has been described with a normal dose, of course, of this drug. The rational use of this drug, methylthionium chloride, has been used for lymph lymphatic mapping and uh, centennial lympho lymphadenectomy in staging melanoma and breast cancer. Uh, it can cause uh, skin necrosis, but more mild adverse reactions uh, from the intraparenchymal breast injection are not well characterized also. Irrational use of this drug, as if other drugs also, it, there is the rational and the irrational use. 
In this case, the use of the methylthionium chloride is not approved in the visualization in surgical procedures or in management of the intractable hypotension. The MHRA has provided an update on the risk of the central nervous system uh, toxicity associated with an interaction between methylthionium chloride, formerly called as a methylene blue, and C in view uh, of the new reports, the MHRA has uh, strengthened the advice for healthcare professionals, uh, including in places uh, on improved indication for this drug. It is also advised that the IV methylthionium chloride should be avoided in patients who have been treated recently with serotonergic antidepressant because it will cause. Uh, increased, uh, sorry, decreased level of serotonin uh, because the antidepressants uh, also will cause increased level of serotonin in the brain. Uh, and uh, these drugs could be contraindicated. Um, uh, clobinamide and vinalaxine also should be, uh, be carefully used when we are using this drug, methylene thionium chloride. Methylethanonium chloride brand names uh, Dark Calma, and the, the dosage form is a tablet form. Uh, it is 10.8 milligram, and Darbaz, dosage, another uh, brand name, Darbaz, uh, dosage form is a tablet also, and Methylenium Blue is 10.8 gram also. There is another uh, uncommon brand name such as Dulcet and Hypofen. The case study given is a 59-year-old man had 6 ml of unbuffered methylphenonium chloride injected into the lumbar pica in an attempt to localize the source of the cerebrospinal fluid rhinorrhea. After injection of the dye, he became shocked and within the next few days developed a mild paraparesis, which subsequently progressed to total parapelgia. So first, we're going to discuss the soap, of course. First, it's the subjective. The gender is a male. The age is 59 years old. Uh, symptoms are headache that worsens when he sits up and improves when he lies down. Metallic taste in the back of the throat. Watery discharge from the nose or ear. And nausea and neck stiffness. Okay, the objective is after physical examination of the patient's condition, he was given methylthionium chloride. IV. Patients receiving methylethanonium chloride should be examined for unstable hemoglobins. After injection of the dye, he became shocked due to the blue tint of the methylethanonium chloride, and it can create confusion as the patient's circulatory status. Assessment in this case, a drug overdosage of methylethanonium chloride given IV can cause shock, of course, and it also can cause pseudocyanosis. The latter is due to the blue thing of the methylphenonium chloride, and it can create confusion as to the patient's circulatory status. Uh, patients receiving methylphenonium chloride should be examined for unstable hemoglobins or abnormal hexose monophosphate pathway. If the risk of the methamoglobinemia is to be minimized, this has to be described with a normal dose. Methylene blue, a substance commonly used IV during surgical procedures for its ability to dye certain tissues, inhibits guanylate cyclase and hence the production of cyclic guanosine monophosphate. The use of methylene blue has also been implicated in causing serotonin syndrome uh, through its inhibition of the monoamine oxidase A enzyme. The plan is uh, to treat the paraplegia, uh, paraplegia uh, surgery to treat a swallowing, uh, remove uh, the lesions or remove embedded objects, a spinal cord alignment surgery. The second surgery is to treat muscle injuries and medications to reduce the risk of the infection and the blood clots. Uh, physical therapy also should be given to regain as much function as possible. Exercise to help the remain in good physical shape uh, and reduce chronic pain. 
At a dose of 30 mg per kg given, methylene blue was shown to increase SVR, which is the systemic vascular resistance, and the MAP also, which is the main arterial pressure, without adverse effects. Methylene blue causes transient discoloration of the urine and the skin. Uh, this was the soap for the case that was given uh, to me. I hope it was uh, clear and understandable. Thank you very much.